and I'm Susie. And we are to pin or not to pin. We'll be trying out popular pins to determine if they are worth pinning. Today, we'll be trying the Conversation Heart Cheesecake from blogger Hungry Happenings, which we believe is the original post. There are many reposts out there of this cute, fun recipe. However, we found the instructions were incomplete. So let's get started and see if this recipe is a pin or not to pin. The ingredients that you will need include one cup of graham cracker crumbs, one pinch of cinnamon, four tablespoons of butter, 16 ounces of cream cheese, one cup of sugar, three large eggs, 16 ounces of sour cream, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and various food colors. In addition to your typical baking tools, you will need two silicone heart molds and two roasting pans. Make the graham cracker crust, I'm adding a cup of graham cracker crumbs, half a stick of melted butter, and I want to get all that butter out because I love butter, and just a little pinch of cinnamon. And we're going to mix it together. We're going to add approximately one tablespoon graham cracker mixture to each mold. There you go. Now they're ready to go in the refrigerator. First we're going to beat the cream cheese on medium high. Then we'll add the sugar, one cup of sugar, and beat that for a minute. Now we're going to add three eggs and beat that for a while. And now we're going to add two cups of sour cream, or 16 ounces, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're going to stir this again. Okay, now it gets fun. We're gonna take our cheesecake batter, divide it evenly between these six bowls, and then we're gonna add food color to make them to match the color of the candy Conversation hearts. All right, here is the first three of our colors, yellow, pink, and orange. Okay, here's the next three colors, pretty green, pretty blue, and our first faux pas, the lavender. We tried to mix red and blue food coloring together, but we found we ended up more with Marsala than violet. So we suggest you buy purple food color. Now it's time to fill our molds with the cheesecake. So our next step is going to be to add hot water into the pans. And once I fill these, I'm going to center it again, and then we're going to stick that in the oven that's been preheating at 325. Place the cheesecakes in the preheated oven and bake for 22 to 28 minutes until firm. Then remove from the oven and place in the freezer for up to two hours. Time has passed, and these are frozen rock hard two hours. And we are ready to do the writing on our hearts. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. Moment of truth. All right. Ready? I'm ready. You see, now this has been in the freezer while we were doing the second tray, and it is already not solid. It's cheesecake. It's pretty good. Not bad. Give me a pot of coffee. I'm going to get a second bite. Yeah, I'd say it's it's a pin. I would pin it. I would say I would like a more crust. Mm-hmm. Really, it said it makes 18. We did 12 and had just a tiny little bit left. I would make at least half as much again crust or graham cracker crust so that you have a little more to put in. I didn't think that was enough. Now this one we did with the gluten-free graham crackers which worked out just fine. I can taste the dye just a little bit. I think that if you have an aversion to using food coloring 
Um, didn't we see? We natural? found some on dot online. Some natural food coloring that you can get through Amazon or, or wherever. If you have an aversion to food coloring. I'm not tasting food coloring, but maybe that's, that's because I'm a chemical gal. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I grew up in the 60s. We, you know, it's a, I probably glow in the dark. But, but I will say this, that I don't know about the coloring of the food colors if you're going to get the same kind of colors. Yeah. We had a problem mixing the red and the blue so that it... Yeah, we did not get a purple. You saw that was kind of a funky Merlot color. Taste-wise, I mean, the cheesecake recipe is fine. Yeah, it's good. So it's a pin. 